Hi there YouTube and welcome to Tech Cravers. Let me start this video by addressing my deepest gratitudes to the fact that in just a couple of months over 800 of you have decided to subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me and I'm forever grateful so thank you so much. Now in this video I thought I would show you the super easy way to add your favorite retro games into your Steam library using Emudeck. Everything will be installed using the Steam Deck alone so let's get to it. So you finally got your Steam Deck, huh? Well, congratulations, because this little <coughs> device will give you hours and hours of entertainment. But it will take some configuration from your side, but rest assured it's a fairly easy process and if you follow my steps you will be playing your retro games in no time. The first thing you have to do is to click the Steam button and head down to power so we can switch into desktop mode. And that is where we will install our emulators. First of all, I just want to tell you something that is not so self-explanatory. When you're in desktop mode and you have Steam running, as I have here, you control the mouse with the touchpads and also use them for clicking. When you turn off Steam, however, you will have to wait for a while and then you will still control the mouse using the touchpads, but now your left and right mouse click have been moved to left and right trigger. Don't ask me why. Anyway, you will need to know that later, so just put it in your memory. And now that we got that out of the way, open up your browser and head over to emudeck.com. And since not everyone is gonna know that either, to access your virtual keyboard, click on the Steam button plus X. And you also need to have Steam running in the background for this to work. And once on their homepage, just head over to download and download app and save the file to somewhere on your Steam Deck. And once that is complete, in just a matter of a few seconds, I like to open the folder and drag the file to my desktop. Click the file you just downloaded and your console will start and initiate the installation process. Emudeck will now in a very pedagogic way take you through the process, but I thought I would comment you through it anyway. First you can choose easy mode or expert mode. If you don't want to do anything at all, choose easy mode. I'm choosing expert mode since I don't want to reinstall my current emulators and settings. After that you choose if you want to install everything on your Steam Deck's internal storage or the SD card. I'm using a 1TB SD card so that's what I'm choosing. And then you choose whether or not to install Emudex file converter to make bigger files into smaller files. I'm not gonna do that. It's also gonna ask you if you want to install power tools to be able to tweak some of the emulators. I'm not doing that either. And after that it's gonna ask you if you want to install Steam ROM manager. Choose to do that if it asks you. It asks me if I want to update it since I already got it installed. Choose whether or not to install Emulation Station which is a front end that you can use if you don't want to use your Steam library as a launcher. You can have both so I'm choosing yes. Once that is done you need to choose which emulators to install. For the purpose of this video I'm choosing RetroArch since I have them all installed already. But you're probably gonna want to choose all of them depending on how many systems you plan on playing on your Steam Deck. You will then get a few questions regarding aspect ratios, choose as you prefer. And lastly I get the question whether or not to write over my current emulator settings and I have to choose which emulators I don't want to write over and since you probably are doing this for the first time you don't even get this question. And once that is done you can finally hit OK and the installation process will start. If you installed RetroArch, it's gonna ask you if you want to install Retro Achievements, which is achievements for your retro games, which is kind of cool, but you need an account on retroachievements.org, and I'm not gonna do that in this video. And finally, the installation process is complete, and it's gonna tell you where to put your games and BIOS files and a few other things. Read that if you want to. Now I'm gonna show you what we have installed. I installed all my emulators onto my SD card as I said, so I'm clicking here to access my SD card named primary as you can see here. Open it with file manager, go to emulation and here you have BIOS, ROMs, saves and tools. Inside the ROMs folder you're gonna have a folder for basically every system ever made and inside all of these folders is where you will put your game dumps or ROMs. So let's say you for instance have a GBA game you want to put here. You just open the folder and put the game file inside. I'm gonna show you when I add my N64 games later but for now let's check out Steam ROM manager. 
You probably installed it through Emudeck earlier, but if you didn't, you can just go to their GitHub page from your Steam Deck's browser and download the latest release there. Steam ROM Manager is a super flexible tool for adding non-Steam games, such as retro game dumps, into Steam and at the same time managing their artwork assets to make it look like an actual Steam game. In this list on the left you can simply toggle which emulators you want to show in your Steam library, and as you can see in my list it's just a handful. Once you have chosen which emulators you want to show, you need to click on Preview and Generate App List. The tool will now find all your games because you added them to the folders I showed you before and it will also grab art for all of those games for you. If you're not happy with the art for a game you can of course change it manually by just swiping through the ones that you can choose from or you can click the bottom left corner and add any picture you want. Now, to save these games and make them show up in your Steam library, you need to save app list. However, you need to close down Steam first. And remember what I told you in the beginning, to be able to click save app list, the right trigger works as your right mouse button. Now we can just exit out of Steam ROM manager and open up Steam to see if our games are there. All my games are now here, categorized by system, and I just realized something I need to tell you. Wii U games will only work if you run them in compatibility mode with the latest Proton version. So right click each and every one of them, and then go to properties and compatibility. Click on force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool and choose the latest Proton version there. Now return to gaming mode and let's see how it all looks. In your library, the Steam ROM Manager have now created a collections tab with all your different games sorted by system and it looks absolutely amazing. A small but awesome design feature is that only the games you actually have will be featured in the small squares. Now that I have shown you that process and you have seen which systems I already had installed on my Steam Deck, let me show you how to add a completely new system, in this case the Nintendo 64. I have already prepared this USB stick and I have put my favorite N64 games on it. Now I'm using a USB-C dongle to be able to use it in my Steam Deck. So back to desktop mode. Put in the USB with your games and it will show up in the same list as your SD card. Once it shows up, just click on mount and open with file manager. Select all your game files and uh, cut or copy them. Then head over to the N64 folder in the SD card that I showed you earlier and paste them there. And once that is complete, let's open Steam ROM Manager again to make them show up in our Steam library. Scroll down until you see the parser for Nintendo 64 and enable it. Scroll back up and click on Preview, then on Generate App List. And once again, it will start fetching all those art files. Now once again we need to close down Steam to be able to save app list. And once you have done that, return to gaming mode and let's see if we can find our Nintendo 64 there. And just like that, all our Nintendo 64 games are now here looking as beautiful as ever. And that's been it for this tutorial on how to get emulators and games running in the absolute easiest and best way on your Steam Deck using the amazing Emudeck app. You can go into each individual emulator and tweak things as well should you want that. However, Emudeck will install and set up the emulators in the overall best way, so if you don't want to do that, it's probably just fine. As I mentioned in my emulation showcase video, however, Breath of the Wild, for instance, will need some tweaks to work. But that's a story for another video. If you liked this video or if it helped you out, please give it a thumbs up or a comment. And why don't you consider subscribing for more content like this if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.